All right, guys, it's the Electric Dream 85. It is German made Nipex pliers rinse versus USA made channel lock speed grips. Basically, they're the same damn thing, guys. So, features and benefits of these, different purposes, different applications. But I think this one's doing something. This is bridging a gap between this design and the old 440s, which we all know and love. This is the 430X. 12 inch model is the 440X, which I will show as well. You get some benefits with this over their traditional tongue and grooves for sure. And you get a little pipe primer too. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you some benefits. I also got a little pipe rig set up to see if these little 10 inch guys can turn a piece of pipe as where this one can't because this is smooth jaw. So we're gonna turn this around. So this is the channel lock 430X. Grips originally out of the box, out of the packaging, felt a little uncomfortable to me. I've had these for only two days, so this is just more of an overview than anything. Uh, haven't had a chance to really use them except for this little pipe demo I'm going to show. So this is this version of this right here. So here's the difference here. That's your maximum jaw spread on the traditional. And here is your maximum jaw spread on the new version. So... There you go, you get quite a bit more. Now these do not have nowhere near as many places as the Nipexes do. It also does not have the cam function like the ratcheting mechanism like this one does. This is just straight push button style. Uh, I didn't like the handles originally, but kind of growing on me in a couple of days playing around with them. Also, nice little American flag on their push button. Very channel lock they're very proud to be made in america still so this is good for all your soft fittings be it brass or nice chrome stuff but its jaw width is a little thin whereas i've actually grabbed these 415 tongue and grooves a lot more for more surface contact on like stuff now this is a replacement pair for a really old pair i used to have so you can see the difference in the jaw here for sure and so we're bridging the gap. We're, we're not talking about soft fittings at all. So you need a grip pipe, you need teeth. Um, this is the 430 traditional tongue and groove here. Still decent teeth. This is my coworkers actually. And same thing, traditional placements, teeth wise. Yeah, so we are going to get rid of this function we, we're not talking about non-marring anymore so what we are talking about is now channel lock needs to get their stuff together and make this exact same tool smooth jud then we have something to talk about as far as like actual comparison right here because nipix doesn't have this nipix has the cobras this is trying to be tongue and groove and cobras at the same time but Look at this teeth on here. These are nice and super aggressive if this damn camera would focus here. There we go, kind of. You can see that it's that cross hatching. Now those are pretty aggressive. You can feel it really well. It seems like it's gonna bite and it is gonna bite really well guys, for sure. Uh, you don't get the adjustments here, unfortunately. But here's the 12. This guy's big, these, these things are beefy. They're, they're beefy. These are almost comfort grips in your hand. So this is the maximum opening on this. Other thing I noticed is once you bite, kind of bear down on that max opening, it tends to stick. Could be a problem just because it's new. And here's the traditional 440s, which is probably my favorite set of pliers I own. I used to love the commercials they made with these. I think one time a guy even did a plumbing job and zipped up his wife's dress in one commercial for this specific plier. But... <clears throat> There's your tongue and groove, and there's your new 440X. You get quite a bit more uh, jaw spread on here. So, interesting, for sure. Uh, so, I just thought I'd give you guys a brief overview, and I'm going to see if these things can turn a pipe where these guys can, a lot with a lot of pressure. You may, you may be able to do it, but chances are you will slip. And what I'm going to try to do with those 10 inch versions is something I would use this traditional 444 you can turn round pipe that's flat with no nothing on it with these it takes a lot of pressure to do so 
I'm gonna try to mimic doing that just with the 10 inch pair because this 10 inch pair actually has this more jaw spread than actually it's the same jaw spread as the, the traditional tongue and groove 12 apparently sorry guys wrong on that but we're gonna see if we can get this guy to do something here so let's figure this out real quick all right so we're gonna move you guys right here so this is gonna be a little difficult so i'm going from the under part here let's see if we can get this to spin this is a 10 inch pair here so traditional very traditional thing here so it bites and it bites really well you can see all the marks in the marine so it bites really well extremely well in my opinion and you can even grip other pipe so that's a small pipe we could even go over here to this bigger pipe and this is a 10 inch pair of pliers so you could even grip on this guy really good and this is really got a good grip on it and this is a 10 inch pair of pliers where normally i'd grab my 440s for this is small it's a the only thing you're losing is leverage but you are gaining and you can see it does bite really well let's see uh what we could do here that's a new fastener for a, this just a butt cap of some sort or cap in whatever you want to call it i don't know i'm not a plumber just stuff we have laying around the shop for what we do it can bite real good it's pretty nice here so let's grab something else here yeah, give me give me these guys here come on get on there give me one second fellas it just it, it, it's gonna bite good just want to see how good this would bite. I was hoping I'd get a little bit tighter of a bite, actually, honestly, to see, because see how more aggressive it would be, unfortunately. But I don't have any soft fasteners, though. But let's see. You look real close. You can see right there. You got a little indentation here, here, and here. So these things do got some good bite. Let's clamp down on that real quick see what happens here on these flats so it does have some good bite but all in all guys give these a shot give them a check they unfortunately do have some mixed reviews uh definitely improvements i think could be made as well but keep that that's really cool i like the little american flag i would like to see more adjustments in a smooth jaw version of this uh and these are far cheaper than the big guys but this is anthony gm 85 for a quick overview on these guys. So I'll catch you guys later.